Hello friends, welcome to our channel, Phoenix Media. Today we will be taking you through Charlie Chaplin's first full-length silent masterpiece, The Kid. Without further ado, let's begin. With much agony, an unmarried woman abandons her child, placing him in an expensive automobile with a scribbled note, please love and care for this orphan child. Two crooks take the automobile and abandon the infant in an alley where the tramp, Chaplin, finds him. He finds the note and his heart melts after several tries to pass the child on to various passers-by. He takes the boy home, calls him John, and rearranges his furnishings for him. Meanwhile, the mother changes her mind and returns for her kid, however, when she discovers that the car has been stolen, she falls to the ground. Five years have passed. The kid and the tramp share a small room and have little money but a lot of affection. They make ends meet through a little plot in which the kid throws stones to break windows so that the tramp, who works as a glazier, can be paid to restore them. Meanwhile, the mother has become a successful actress who donates gifts to needy children. As she does so, the mother and the kid unintentionally meet paths. Later, as people gather to witness the spectacle, the kid gets into a fight with another local lad. The kid wins in the end, maddening the other boy's older brother, who assaults Chaplin as a punishment. The mother intervenes to break up the fight, but it resumes after she departs, and Chaplin continues to beat the big brother over the head with a brick between blows until he totters away. Soon later, the mother urges the tramp to call a doctor when the kid was unwell. The doctor determines that Chaplin is not the kid's father and reports him to the authorities. Two men arrive to take the boy to an orphanage, but Chaplin and the boy remain side by side after a conflict and a chase. When the mother returns to check on the boy, she runs into the doctor, who shows her the note which he had removed from Chaplin. She identifies it as the one she had left with her baby years before. Chaplin and the kid, who are now fugitives, spend the night in a cheap motel. Its owner learns of the authorities' $1,000 prize and takes the kid to the police station while Chaplin is asleep. Later when Chaplin found out that his kid was missing, he searches for the missing boy while the grieving mother is reunited with her long-lost child. Unsuccessful, he returns to their poor quarters and falls asleep, experiencing a dreamland where his neighbors have transformed into angels and devils. A police officer wakes him up and drives him to a mansion. The mother and the kid opens the door, and the kid jumps into Chaplin's arms, and he is welcomed in. And that's how the movie comes to an end. Please subscribe for more movie recaps and thanks for watching.